All right, so we're talking about wall planks versus the standard plank on the floor. We'll show both. That's right, we're gonna show you both, but you know, both of them are doing very similar strengthening to the core in the midsection. If you have back pain, you definitely want to increase the strength for reasons of where these muscles are located and how they actually attack to the back of the spine. And the wall ones are easier to do. Right, if you have a problem getting down on the floor, the wall ones. And no equipment. And no equipment as well. Right. There's there some big benefits to doing this. Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. All right, we're gonna look at the muscle groups that regular planks uh, really work on strengthening. There's actually four layers of muscles in the core and the ab abdomen that actually uh, surround the whole back. The first one is not showing very well on here, and we didn't do that because it's actually the rectus abdominis, uh, which is the six-pack muscles. They run vertically on the front of the stomach, and this is a side view, so uh, everyone is very familiar with that, we think. But the ones that we that are really important are actually the rectus, or not the rectus, the external oblique where the fibers go at an angle like this across your stomach, and then the internal obliques, which the fibers go like this. So if you put those on top of each other, they crisscross, and they really support the abdominal abdomen well. Now, the next group is the transverse abdominis. Uh, this is a really particularly important abdominal group that supports the spine. Uh, here's the front of the body. Here's the uh, sternum. And these fibers actually go around and wrap around the core. And if you could look at, if we could turn this skeleton all the way to the back, they don't stop until they connect up to the spine. So this is just like a yeah, back through belt. the fascia. Yep, through the fascia of the back, Bob just mentioned, and that fascia is very strong tissue, right. as, as well as all this. It's a it's a man made or it's not a it's a made back belt that if those muscles contract properly, it works as a super back belt for the body, and that's what we're trying to get at with the planks as well. With the wall planks. Uh, yeah, right. planks, wall planks, and... Uh, it's the same thing. Yeah, same right. thing, and we'll talk more in detail about that. We sound confused, but we're really not. Okay, first of all, we're going to demonstrate your typical plank that you do on the floor. Bob is going to do on our uh, table here. Here he's got nice and straight body holding it, and you're going to hold this for a period of time, 15, 30 seconds. That's going to be up to you. Now... Another method to do the side plank, so you're getting more muscle fibers in different parts of the core. Uh, Bob is doing it on his knee. You can go up to your feet and do it so you have a, a complete side plank. Uh, whatever level you're at works good for you. This is a nice demonstration. And now this isn't really a plank, but this does complement the plank as far as working more core muscles, particularly on the posterior or the low back side, which is really important for those low back pain people. You can see Bob is working here. It's really Bob. challenging his balance. All these muscles are really going to town to maintain his balance, his core. And if you find, find yourself struggling like this, you know you're doing it right. You're really giving yourself good benefits. All right, Bob, what do you say? He's happy. Yep. Now we're going to show the wall planks and some obvious, or obvious, some uh, different variations of that. I don't know what's wrong with my mouth today, Bob. I, I, You're doing fine. Yeah, I, I sound like I've been. You sound like me. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're at the wall plank. We're going to start obviously facing towards the wall, and the distance your feet are from the wall is gonna determine how aggressive it is. Obviously, you can't do it with your toes touching the wall. So get back maybe uh, one to two feet, somewhere in there, and we're gonna tighten up the core, keep our back nice and straight with our body, our head not forward, over, ears over the shoulders, and forearms, just like this. You can do them with your palms like this, but we find that this works better as far as getting those muscles engaged. You can do it with your feet wider apart. As you get stronger, you can bring your feet closer together. It makes it a little more difficult, works the core muscles a little bit better, and you're just gonna hold it here, and you can hold it there for up to 30 seconds if that's too easy. And 
you know, you, you only can go out so far. So what you can do when you feel comfortable with the distance from the wall, you don't want to go any farther. By the way, you should do this with shoes on so you have some grip is better. Then you simply lift one arm off and hold it. Immediately, you're going to feel those core muscles working harder when you lift one arm off. You know, do that five or ten seconds, your choice, and then do the other one. So you might go 10 seconds here, 10 seconds here, and do that three times. It's going to give you some nice core strength. Look how straight Brad's yeah. back is. <laughs> is it straight, yeah. Bob? Yep. Sometimes I wonder. You look good, Brad. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> Clear there. All right. Should we uh, continue on to the side plank, yep. Bob? Okay. We're going to progress to the side plank. Uh, and what we're going to do is the same thing. Find a distance comfortable to the wall. You're going to go a little farther out because on this one, we're going to go with the palm. If you want, you can use a forearm. Either way works okay. Just adjust your feet accordingly. On this one, we're going to keep our feet close together. This feels pretty good for me. Uh, you can do this back and forth and then find the middle. Hold it. Tighten up that core. Think about tightening up that belly to get all those layers that we talked about engaged. And we're just going to hold it here. Now, if you find this too easy after about 30 seconds, it's like, well, what's so hard about this? Your next step, and that's the same with the previous exercise where we did the facing the wall, wall plank. When it gets too easy after 30 seconds, that's when you start lifting one arm off the wall. In this case, you're gonna take the outside leg, tighten everything up, reach out in front of you, touch a point in front of you at a distance that makes the core work. You can tell I'm working harder because I'm talking more <laughs> stressed. Strained. Yep. And, and, you know, you just go back and forth like this. You have to go both sides. Do the same on one side as the other so that you balance out the core and you don't start walking like this. Okay, Bob. Well done, Brad. Was that clear? Yeah. Clear as mud. No. Nope. We got one more to show you. Crystal. Okay. And finally, but not last, leastly, we have yeah. the famous... Pointer dog. Again, this is a little different variation from the plank, but it's really effective and it works well. And if you do it, you'll understand why. Uh, we have two options, one on the wall and then one on the countertop. We'll right. start on the wall. It's a little easier. This is where you should start. Again, bring your feet a comfortable distance away from the wall. Hands above your head as comfortable. I'm going to take my and I'm going to spread my feet out about one to two feet apart, 18 inches, whatever you feel comfortable with. This hand is going to lift off the wall. A few inches is all. You only need that. that. And then you're at the same time, you're going to lift the opposite foot off the wall. And you can hold that, you know, five to ten seconds. Be safe. <laughs> yep. And then this way. So you're just going to alternate. If you haven't done this before... I would only go one or two seconds. Or st start with your legs only. Right, yep. So you can just do this. One leg here, one leg here. Tighten up the core while you're doing this. Try and breathe and relax. And then do this. And then, you know, if that's easy, like, then you can go back to where I started, where you alternate and do them at the same time. Don't do both legs at the same time. <laughs> Ooh, just kidding. Uh, if that's too easy or you want to do something different, the countertop, say this would be your countertop. This is going to be more aggressive, a little more challenging. Plank position here. Tighten up the core. Good posture. You know, if you got someone around, ask them if your body is straight because no, that's straight, critical. Right. Head not forward. And then with this one, the same thing. You can just simply... Start doing alternate right, left, and then try the feet. And you can tell the way I'm grunting and groaning, it is a little more challenging than All over right. there. And then, of course, this one is even more challenging. You look like Superman. Yeah, I look, I feel like Superman. <laughs> I am strong like bull. And, yeah, do all four at once and see if <laughs> you can fly. Uh, again, you know, do 10 of these would probably be a good number to shoot for. When you're starting out, take it easy. Just do a few. You don't want to wake up the next day with sore core muscles. Every time you laugh, you'll be swearing at Bob and Brad. Why didn't they tell me to take it easy? How all dumb bad. Yeah. Well, Bob, once again, we can fix anything except for a... A broken heart. Right. And this video is not going to help at all. No. Nope. But Agreed. we continue to strive for that goal. We live in our fancy, fancy world. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly uh. right, Bob. <laughs> be careful.